My name is Margaret Lambert. I was born Gretel Bergman in a very small town in the south of Germany. I loved everything that had to do with physical activity, and I was good at it. There was this little club in that town, and uh, you could go as often as you wanted in the afternoon or in the evening, whoever was ready there. The older people helped the younger people how to do th certain things, and uh, it was great. Due to my love for sports, most of my friends were non-Jewish, and that was never, never, never a problem until a certain time in my life. Social institutions are not established in a vacuum. The Olympic Games, as majestic as they are, are part and parcel of systems that they are helping to create. The Nazi Olympics was just one stepping stone toward the legitimization of the Nazi regime. And it was one more step toward the Holocaust. By 1935, Jews were excluded from all German sport associations. They were able to establish their own sport associations, but German sport clubs, gymnastic clubs, excluded them. In the spring of 1933, it was just around my birthday, and it was not a very nice birthday present. I got a letter from my sports club. You are no longer welcome here because you're Jewish. Heil Hitler, and that was the end of that. There was no Jewish uh, sports, per se, in the town. We tried to straighten out an old potato acre that somebody had given us, and we ran there, and I started a, a field handball. But after a while, everybody got tired of this, you know, the same people every day. It, it, it was horrible. The Germans established an Olympic training camp in Ettlingen. They invited Jewish athletes. None of them were selected to the German team. The two athletes who were selected to the German team were half Jewish. Rudy Ball was perhaps the best hockey player in Germany. And the famous fencer, Helena Meyer, a beautiful, tall, statuesque, blonde woman who exemplified the Aryan idea of female beauty. The reason that these two Jewish, half Jewish athletes were selected was because the extraordinary American pressure to include at least one Jewish athlete. Indeed, we find that Gretel Bergman, who was from Jewish ancestry fully, was robbed from the German team in spite of her very high level of performance. My candidacy for, for as an Olympic uh, uh, athlete was really all a sham. I wish it was just something that the, the, the Germans did to, to, to fool the whole world. The Jewish American response from the street level was staunchly against the participation in the Olympic Games. When the participation was decided, uh, many Jewish athletes were influenced by uh, community leaders, by rabbis not to participate in the Olympic Games. Um, some of them responded to this pressure, some of them decided to go. I'd been always thinking and wanting to be in the Olympics. In 1936, in the Harbordale track meet, Norman Connors and myself had won six gold medals between us. And there was quite a bit of publicity about uh, whether we were going to the Olympics or whether we could qualify. I went to Temple Israel in uh, Boston, and Rabbi Levy had seen the publicity, and I had great respect for Rabbi Levy, because prior to uh, our meeting with him, although I had heard about uh, the problems in Germany and uh, what was going on, I, I didn't really have a, a detailed understanding of, of the problems there. And, and uh, that meeting was really a shock at to both Connors and myself. I don't remember all the uh, gory details that they went into. Something about book burning and uh, taking away the rights of Jews. All those details were pretty repulsive to us. 
after we boycotted the Olympics, uh, no one came to speak to us or asked us uh, if we'd uh, make any statements about it. And uh, I don't think uh, anyone knew particularly that we did boycott it because uh, there was no publicity about it one way or the other. At the time of the uh, Olympic Games, I was working at a summer camp as a counselor. I was thinking about uh, how it had been to been running in those events. And uh, you know, I had a long game to have been in it. But as I look back on it, uh, I don't remember having any terrible regrets for having made the decision. Never a second thought on it.